Based on the problems that you just worked on in the assessment center, you received a preliminary recommendation of Math 98, Essentials of Intermediate Algebra. This course was specifically designed to help students to prepare for math and society or statistics. This class will focus on reviewing and learning the algebra skills that you will need for Math 107 and Math 146. You will look at solving all types of equations, including linear and quadratic equations, and equations with fractions, square roots, and exponents as part of real-world applications. You'll never have to ask when would anyone ever use this. If your math program allows Math 102, you can take that instead. Now, because this recommendation was just based on a few math problems done on a single day, you may want to consider the class below or the class above your Math 98 recommendation instead. If you are concerned that your math background is too weak or you've never taken an algebra course before, you may choose to register for Math 87, Quantitative Literacy. Math 87 spends time on fractions, percents, positive and negative numbers, proportions, and introduces the idea of using a variable to solve simple equations. You will look at real-world applications to practice and develop these math skills. Keep in mind, taking a lower level class will add some time onto your degree path. You would need to go from Math 87 to Math 98 to then your 100 level math course, but it might help you become a stronger student and raise your confidence. If you have taken algebra before and the material and the problems today looked familiar, you may want to consider registering for the next higher class, the Math and Society or the Statistics course that you need for your degree. This will save you time and money from taking an extra course, but be aware that you probably have some weak areas in your algebra background. Be prepared to put in some extra time in reviewing concepts before classes start. Plan to visit the tutoring center or your instructor's office hours for those times that you need extra help. Signing up for Math 107 or Math 146 directly means that you are confident that you've learned the material this background algebra that you will need for these courses and you're willing to put in extra time and effort if needed in order to succeed. I hope that this helped introduce you to the math options that you have available to you. It is now time to choose a class that will make that will mark the beginning of your math pathway. You want to choose a class where you will feel comfortably challenged don't choose an easy class where you've already learned the material. That will add extra time and money to your educational plan. But don't choose a class where you've never learned the prerequisite skills that you will need to be using in that class either, or your course will be a frustrating struggle and you may not be successful. Don't forget to take advantage of the great resources we have available at LW Tech, including support services for veterans or first generation college students, as well as free math tutoring for all of our students. Still have questions about which math course would be best for you? Talk to your advisor or reach out to one of the math faculty here on campus. We are always happy to help. Welcome to Lake Washington Tech. I hope to see you in a math class soon.